There are many more talented T20 players in the Protea squad, but I'm not convinced they're many more valuable than Dwayne Pretorius. Pretorius flies under the radar, but his record speaks to an immense talent who adds incredible value to the Protea squad. Consider his averages when compared to the world's leading T20 all-rounder, Shaki Balasan. Pretorius averages nearly 32 with the bat, whereas Shaki Balasan averages 23. Alassane edges him with the ball, with an average of 21 and an economy rate of 6.8. Pretorius comes in at an average of 24 and an economy rate of 8. Now, Alassane has played significantly more matches, but it's still relevant that Pretorius stands up in comparison to the world's best. Pretorius is a point of interest now because he returns for the tour of Sri Lanka, having missed tours of West Indies and Ireland through COVID. And Pretorius's value lies not only in what he offers with bat and ball, but also in the selection versatility that his competence offers. His skill set allows you to pick another bowler, which could potentially be a third spinner, which is something that I've advocated for in previous videos. It could also allow them to pick another batter, which is a risk if one of the bowlers take tap, but it would help ease the pressure on a dimension of their game that has been subpar. Add his fielding and his experience to his list of qualities, and you begin to understand just how important a player Pretorius could be. The upcoming tour of Sri Lanka will give insight into where his game is. He hasn't played international cricket since February, and with just three games to go before the World Cup, he'll have to hit the ground running. If his transition to playing international cricket again goes smoothly, he could be a vital part of the Proteus World Cup puzzle.